Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Today's video topic is if you are facing this kind of a blue screen error, automatic repair. In this video, I will show you how can we fix this error completely. So let's start with our first step. Click on advanced option. Then click on double shoot and click on advanced option. So the first option you can try to fix this issue. Click on startup repair. So this option will repair all the startup files. Click on it. And this process will take around 10 to 15 minutes and it will diagnose and repair all the corrupted startup files. So you have to wait for a few minutes. So this method is unable to fix the blue screen error. You can see the error line again. Startup repair could not repair your PC. Now move on to our next method to fix it. So click on this option again, advanced option. Then click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. So the next step you can try is click on this command prompt. Now you have to type few commands to repair your windows corrupted files. So start with our first command sfc space slash scan now. So this command will repair or replace your windows corrupted files. Press enter and this process will take around 3 to 4 minutes to complete. So I will fast forward this video. Verification process completed. Now type the next command bootrack space slash fix mbr press enter. Now type the next command bootsec space slash nt60 space sys press enter. Now type the next command bootrack space slash fix boot press enter. Now type the next command bootrack space slash rebuild pcd. Press enter. Now wait for 3 to 5 seconds. Process completed. Now type the final command chk dsk space slash f space c colon. So this command will repair uh, if you have any error in your hard drive. Press enter. And this process will take around uh, 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So you have to wait. And I will fast forward this video. So the process has been completed. Now cut this window. Now click on continue and this will reboot your system and this will fix your issue as well. But if you are still getting the same issue, you tried everything but still getting uh, the blue screen error again and again. Now move on to our final step. In the final step, we are going to reset our PC. So click on troubleshoot. Then click on this option, reset this PC. So this is the final step you can try. And uh, we are going to reset our PC completely. And this will fix all the errors from our computer or our laptop. So what you have to do is there are two options. Keep my files and remove everything. So if you have uh, some important files in your desktop uh, or in your other uh, partitions, click on the first option, keep my files. In this process, all the data in your system, all the files, all the Excel files, all the image files will remain safe. If you select the first option, keep my files. But if you go for second option, remove everything. In that case, all your data in your system will remove. So go for the first one, keep my files. Then click on local reinstall. Reset this PC and you can see the details. Your PC will go back to the default mode. Keep personal files so your data in your desktop or in your other partition. All the data will remain safe in this process. There will be no data loss at all. Your windows will be reinstalled. The only drawback in this process is all the softwares you have in your system will remove. This is the only drawback. But this reset process will completely fix your blue screen error or all the uh, windows related issues this will fix it so just click on reset and it will take around half an hour to complete and this will fix your issue completely so these are the few methods you can apply to fix blue screen error 
in your system this is all for the video thank you